always on time. So, you know, most of them, American, even Western, they want you to be on time. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me again, Jess and Travis. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, I will share with you guys um, what it's like living with Americans. So as you can see on our previous video, Travis already made a video on what it's like living with a Filipina. So now it's my turn to share with you guys what is my experience. So. Disclaimer everyone, I'm not going to compare any other nationalities. This is based on my experience, okay? So I just want to share with share it with you or maybe you also have the um, same same case or same experience like me. So first thing uh, that I will discuss with you guys are those good things about Travis. So most of it are good things. So, the first one, he is very sweet. So, Travis is very sweet. He loves to cuddle every time we watch Netflix. He always wants to hug me. He loves, he really loves that attention. And next thing is, if I don't respond to his message, and I've seen it on like Messenger, if he messaged me there, and then I've just seen it, he gets mad. Same with me, guys. <laughs> Most of us girls do that. If if our partner did not message message us with, but they've just seen our message we get mad right so that's the first thing very sweet and loves attention he loves attention so next thing is he is very loving so as you all know travis is only one child guys so he also wants you to love him so me as his partner um he wants the love that he really needs um you know that his parents um they only have travis as their kid and they give all their attention to travis so he's kind of spoiled a little bit guys but it's not bad not unlike other people other children that is really spoiled that that it turns into bad thing he is very loving so sweet loving and next one is he is very appreciative so every time every time he appreciate my effort he always tell me thank you babe for your um effort thank you for that and the the last time that he gave me a appreciation <laughs> gift appreciation gift talaga so the first time that he gave me that appreciation gift is when we were in bahrain so he gave me a smartwatch and I was so shocked. I did not do anything guys. He just told me that I really appreciate you for taking care of me. That's why I'm giving you a small gift just to thank you. I told him you, re you don't really need to give me this expensive smartwatch. He told me that you really need one because you have that your skin irritates on your old one because my smartwatch she gave me the old one he gave me that on my birthday last last year and he told me that you really need that smartwatch and we will replace it to a better smartwatch and i'm very happy guys because um travis i don't really need that stuff because i'm used to buy um cheap one and i don't really need the expensive one and smartwatch and that's my first time that i got um smartwatch and i'm so happy next one is very hard working so i think most of them are hard working guys so he is very hard working so as you all know he is navy guys he works in u.s military and he is a navy so travis loves to work i guess <laughs> But as I can see that he is very hardworking and he has a goal and now that he is achieved, I'm very happy for him because he achieved 
that goal because he told me that babe I really want to be a chief maybe next year please pray for me so um, I'm also happy for him guys na naging chief siya so it's a big achievement for them to become a chief and it's really hard to be a chief yeah there's a lot of requirements I've seen all his hard work just to become a chief and it's not really that easy guys last year is it is very challenging for him and very stressful the only thing that I can give him is my support guys so I am I am cheering him up I know that he's losing hope because it's very hard yeah he's been through a lot of problems he's been through a lot of challenges so and I'm very glad happy that he achieved it. So living with him is a life changing guys because he gives me more love. He makes me feel love. He take care he takes care of me. Um he always cheer me up every time I'm stressed at work. Always there for me guys, giving me some advice. And I also love it that he is there for me all the time. The thing with Travis he doesn't want to go out without me guys so he doesn't go with his friend without me that he is not a party goer so he loves to stay at home he loves to play games he loves to make more time with me every time i have day off so he always wants that time for us only so we don't go outside guys most of the time we're just staying at home okay everyone i will share with you now the difficulties um, living with American or living with Travis so the first thing it's hard for me to deal with the food because as you know as you all know guys that I love rice I'm Asian I love rice char <laughs> so Travis is you know he is a type of guy that loves to eat healthy He's, he loves to work out, he loves to go to gym, he loves to eat fruits, he loves everything that is healthy, um, every, every food that is healthy. So that's the first thing that, um, that it's hard for me to deal with because you know that I grew up in a country that every day we ate rice. So he always told me that it's not good for you. It's um it makes you sick if you eat a lot of it so he always told me that just eat moderation but not that much so that's the the first thing guys because it's really hard for me to cook every day if he doesn't like the food he loves adobo he loves pancit he loves lumpia filipino food those are the filipino food so and then sometimes he always he's sometimes he cooks um zupa toscana he he also cooks some american food so but i love all those food that he cooks guys so that's so there is no problem with me because i don't i'm not really that picky any other type of food so it's not a problem for me so the the problem is the first the first time we met and the first time we lived together is the food so I have to choose um, I have to choose and cook those food that he only likes and we love oh, so that's it so the next thing is the argument so next thing argument it's a big word <laughs> <laughs> argument so yeah as a couple we also argue sometimes yeah the problem is you know, I'm Filipino and I'm not really that good in English, but I'm not really that fluent in English. I'm really sorry, guys, if I have some um, grammar, grammatically error when I speak. Just please bear with me. <laughs> so, yon, every time we argue, it's really hard to argue with American, with Western people because you can um, express what you want because you can say some words that I really want to say because you can't express it just like that in Tagalog it's really it's really easy because that's my first language but I'm really working on it guys 
and Travis told me that um, you can speak English, but in arguments, talaga, when it comes to arguments, especially with him, it's really hard. So in terms of arguments, it's really hard to argue with Travis because, you know, I can't really express my feelings, lalo na English. So my first language is Tagalog and I'm not good at English, but I'm working on it, guys. So, and I, and I'm not that type of person that if I'm mad at or angry at you, I will not talk to you, talaga. So, I just need time to make myself calm before I talk to you and discuss those problems. So, but Travis don't love arguments, so he always talk to me, resolve those problems with me, so... He doesn't want us to sleep or to stay that in that situation. So he loves he loves to resolve that problem right away. He wants to talk to me right away to resolve that. So that's the thing that I want that I love with Travis because he's not that type of person that will yell at you after arguments. That will yell at you if you made something. So he is only he will only talk to you. Um, what's the problem? Talk to me as an adult so that they don't be childish. So that's the thing that I learned with Travis. I learned a lot of things with him, guys. So that's the second thing, arguments. And the third thing is um, always on time. So you know most of them, American, even Western, um, they want you to be on time. If you have an appointment, you need to be on time. So the problem is me. It's um, when I dress up or when I when we go when we will go somewhere else and I have to do to do my makeup to do my hair. It's really hard for me because my hair is dry, super dry and a little um, curly. So if I want to curl it or straighten it, it's really hard and it takes a lot of time. So Travis gets mad at <laughs> me. He gets um, very, very stressful every time we go outside because um, it takes a lot of time for me to, to dress up. So that's the problem, guys, um, for me because, you know, most of the Filipino, I know, all, they, they are always late. And you know that, guys, you know that. So most of them, Western people or american people they love they want you to be on time if you have a schedule or appointment you need to be on time you need to be there on time so same with travis um, every time we go out every time we go somewhere and i need to dress up and he told me that quickly babe we have to go there on time and then i have to do my hair early because it takes a lot of time to straighten my hair to curl my hair and to do a little makeup and um, you know as a girly thing girly stuff so it takes a lot of time for us to get dressed up so that's the problem but now we've been together for one year so it changed um, I get dressed up um, before maybe one hour so that's my preparation one hour before we leave so <laughs> very early guys um, I need to take um, I need to allocate one hour for just for me to get to dress up. So that's it. So that's all guys those things that I experience living with Travis. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something and I think that most of you um, can relate to my experience because some of you guys are married to American or Western people. So yeah. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching and see you again on our next vlog. Bye!